An airplane tr touches down with a velocity of 70 meters per second northward and comes to rest after traveling a distance of 490 meters in a straight line. Its average acceleration was most nearly and five choices. So let's highlight the things that are sort of important to pull out here. We're given a vo an initial velocity and it is northward. The object then comes to rest. That's, that's the final velocity. Having traveled a distance of 490 meters along a straight line. As usual, it's worthwhile to draw a picture. So here is our airplane. It has just touched down here. And then it comes to rest here. And we're going to make some things. Let's see. So traveling 70 that way, but then at rest, having gone a distance of 490 meters, and we know that that direction is north, because they say it was traveling northward, and we want to know what is its acceleration. The acceleration points this way, and I'm going to call it A0. It's not a great line, sorry. Let's try again. One, two, blah. Acceleration, I'm going to call it A sub zero. I like leaving A as the generic name for acceleration. So we can say that the acceleration of our plane is minus A zero. All right, looking here, what we have, or actually what we don't have, we have a velocity. We have some distances, or a distance and acceleration in the problem, different velocity. What we're missing, what we don't have, is we don't have t, and we don't want it. So our equation is going to be the one that involves the velocity squared. And we can just say, putting the numbers that we know, we're given the velocity is 0 at the end, because it comes to rest. And it's 70 meters per second at the start, because, well, they told us that. We are looking for the acceleration, but really it's magnitude, so I'm going to put that. And then we know that the distance is 490 meters and it starts at zero. Remember we were allowed to say x equals zero here so x final is 490. That was up to us. All right then we just solve over for it. So we get that a zero is going to be 70 meters per second squared over 2 times 490 meters. You could do this in the calculator pretty Right, but you can also see 70 meters per second quantity squared is 4,900 4, meters squared per second squared, and this is 2 times 490 meters. We do some canceling. This over this leaves 10. 10 over 2 leaves 5. Meters squared per second squared over meters is meters per second squared. So the magnitude is 5, meaning that we're at either this one or this one. But of course, if the velocity going to my right is northward, then the acceleration going to the left should be southward. So I should end up with, and do end up with, 